And all new at 4 o'clock for you. Threats of a lawsuit in Italy as more students share stories of a shooting suspect's past. What we've learned. Plus, that teenage student makes his first appearance in front of a judge. Why he was ordered to stay in custody. Thank you for joining us. I'm Gilma Avalos. And I'm Ken Molestina. That suspect accused of shooting a fellow student at Italy High School ordered to stay in custody today. The teenager answered to two counts of aggravated assault for the first time. Brittany Jeffers was inside the Ellis County Juvenile Courtroom. Because the 16 year old is a minor, his name has not officially been released. And the cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom today. But I was in there and we watched as he sat with his head down, nodding along as the judge gave her instructions. A living nightmare. That's how the state described the events that unfolded inside of the Italy High School cafeteria on Monday. The district attorney also adding that this has been an emotional week for the community. I have. I have children in school as well, and I'm not unimpacted by the events that take place in our world today. And I worry for them, and I worry for the family of the kid that did this. You know, there are no winners in this, no matter how it shakes out. And so it's a tragedy for everybody involved. And so I'm not, I'm affected by it just, just like everyone else. So. The 16 year old suspect is accused of pulling out a gun, striking one of his classmates, 15 year old Noel Jones. The state says that she suffered injuries to her neck and abdomen, and that the bullets narrowly missed another student. The state also says the 16 year old alleged gunman taunted and yelled at the students after the shooting. The judge agreed that the teenager should be detained based on a number of reasons, including posing a threat to himself and the public, as well as a lack of adult supervision. The court also ordered a psychological evaluation. Looking ahead, the next court date will be on February 7th at 3 o'clock. In Ellis County, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News.